Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We come on Monday through Friday right here at the same time, and we have a good time. My name's Cecil. That's right, and I'm Amanda. Thank you for joining us today. We do have a great show lined up for you guys. Guess what? Um, there's some treats in the audience. Did you see it? Hey, I National know. Cherry Turnover Day. I think it's tomorrow or today. I'm not you sure. You know if it's a food holiday. Yeah. We're going to find out some way to <laughs> celebrate. That's All right. right. We do have a great show lined up. Let's check out our weather first. All right, a live look right now in North Myrtle Beach. Uh, the cumulus cloud field now beginning to develop, but notice we are not seeing any of that Nimbus or Stratus clouds. Those are more rain clouds. The cumulus clouds, they're the fair weather clouds. Temperatures right now in the mid to upper 80s area wide, already feeling like those low 90s in many locations from Conway through Marion, out through Darlington and Florence, Sumter at 93, along the Grand Strand, feeling like the upper 80s to low 90s. Again, all having to do with an area of high pressure we like to call the Ring of Fire. The reason why? Well, one uh, major reason is it's this huge ring, if you will, and another reason it's not moving. So it's just going to keep pumping up the heat. Excessive heat watches up in the Cape of Massachusetts. Heat advisories down that 95 megalopolis from Washington, D.C. through New York, Philly, up through Boston as well. No heat advisories or excessive heat watches here, but we're still feeling the heat. We're also feeling uh, plenty of dry air. While at the surface, we're dealing with south and easterly winds, which is pumping in moisture. We're actually dealing with this northerly flow in the mid and upper levels that's bringing in dry air. That dry air is very evident on our future cast. As these clouds develop vertically, the dry air cuts through them and basically tries and limits any development of rain showers. That's not to say we won't see a stray shower somewhere. The best cases would be Georgetown and Williamsburg counties, especially the farther south you go. But for many of us today, tomorrow, Wednesday, even into Thursday, a very dry forecast with temperatures falling back into the 70s as we head into the evening hours and eventually overnight. Then we're staying hot and dry with this ridge of high pressure, like I said, through Thursday directly overhead. By Friday, an opening between two ridges will allow for a slight uptick in our precipitation chances. And then that ridge of high pressure taking over next week. That spells out again, very dry and hot, but still humid conditions. So expect uh, dry, hot, humid, and uh, the fog, by the way, that we experienced this morning, likely through Thursday, even into our Friday morning. So expect that daily uh, shower and storm chances this weekend before dry conditions return next week. Voice assistants are common on our smartphones, but what about your PC? See some tips after our advertiser. Get free prints. Print 1,000 4x6 photos a year absolutely free. Just pay a small shipping charge. No subscriptions, no commitments. Download the free app at freeprints.com. Voice assistants are great on our smartphones, but what can they do on your computer? On Mac OS Sierra, you can use Siri for typical things like weather, stock prices, and show me my shopping list. You can also use it to send short messages like send Stacy a message. What do you want to say? I'll be back at the office at two. More unique requests include things like what files have I worked on today? Or open the folder called kitchen. Or how fast is my Mac? Using Siri is faster and easier than typing or searching. Try it. It's easy and free. I'm Francie Black, keeping you in touch with tech. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Hey, you know what? Again, 
If what? you want to come see what happens behind the scenes, you need to send your special recipes. We'll talk more <laughs> about that tomorrow. But yeah. if you have a home recipe, a family recipe, guess what? Yeah, we want to share it with everybody. And you'll wonder why we're always laughing when we come <laughs> back from commercial break. Let's talk about today. Today is Monday, August the 27th, and this is Just Because Day. And it's also Motorist Consideration Day. Okay. That means no hand signals today when they go by you. Okay, remember that. <laughs> Birthdays today, let's go back to 1958. There she is, Kayla, Kayla Ewell, I believe is how you pronounce it, 33. And uh, she's on the TV, The Bold and Beautiful. And uh, let's see, Freaks and Geeks, the movie and the Vampire Diaries. Fired up, all kind of movies that girl was in. <laughs> all right, 1969, Chandra Wilson, 49 years old on TV's ABC's Grey's Anatomy. She, um, let's see, works as a bank temp across from South Tower of the World Trades. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. She hold was on. there during. Now the, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. She worked there during the 9/11 attack. She worked right across. Right across the street. the street from it. All right, 1981, Patrick Adams, 37, in the TV show Suits, HBO series Luck, films old school and extreme movie. All right, today in history, let's go back to 1965. Elvis Presley played host of the Beatles at his home in Bel Air, California. And then they played pool on a pool table. Then they moved it to the, uh, the restaurant that Elvis had. And when I was over to doing features on Elvis, yeah. I got a chance to play on the pool table. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You learn something about you every day. <laughs> I tell you, let's see, 1984, Diane Sawyer became the fifth anchor for the CBS TV, 60 Minutes. All right, from the Know It All department where you learn something every day. Now listen to this, all right? In rich countries, obesity is more common among the less educated. Okay. But in poor countries, obesity is more common among the highly educated. So you know what that means? I'm going to a poor country. Yeah. Well, I'll be smart. Because you'll be obese and rich? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. You're not obese. Know. I'm just, I'm sure we'll get an email about I'm that I'm sure. One. That's it. We'll be back with a lot more from Know It All Department Plus. Oh, I forgot to throw it. Let me throw it. Here we go. There, there we go. go. We'll, we'll be right back. Hearing aids just died. I can't hear you. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we're talking about the Labor Day event, the Southern 500 Parade over in Darlington, my hometown. That's right. And uh, it's set for Sunday, right, Lee? Saturday. 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 I'm sorry, I wrote and it down wrong. Right. Saturday. And then the race is on Sunday. Right. There you go. September 2nd, the Southern 500 Parade. And uh, a lot of interesting things this year. And like the Marshall, the Grand Marshall is a big deal. Grand what? Marshall is a big deal. It is... Um is one of the Hall of Famers is actually going to be the Wood Brothers. Leonard and Glenn Wood. Leonard will be there. He will oh. be in the parade. Glenn will not be able to attend, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you That's what, those are cool great. Stuff. There's Goober. That's one of the old ones there from Darlington. All the big stars used to come. That would be a Bobby Allison will be in the parade this year. Um, we got a couple of new time stars. Now, live, we're expecting live PD, some of the Richland County Sheriff's deputies to be there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, the Darlington High Band is a, a staple in it. They actually lead the parade. Cool. There's 200 band members in that band this year, so it is a wow. show. Wow, really? Absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Now, Cecil, you've been out, you know, you've been to this several times, Oh, yeah. Right? Storm Thurman was there every parade when the JCs, we used to put it on, 
and we had all the movie stars that came in all the time, you know, Matt and, Dillon, and, everybody. And you know, that that's a lot to live up to. When the JCs did it, that was that was a really good thing. And you know, it brings out a crowd and we're just trying to live up to that nowadays. All right, now where's it gonna start this year? It's down gonna on start Edwards on Avenue? Edwards Avenue and it's actually gonna go to the racetrack down 151 into the Xfinity garage area. So we actually go through the the infield. That's which pretty is, neat. It is exciting when you get into when you come yeah. out the tunnel, yeah, it's exciting. There's a lot lot of people there. Now, that is pretty neat. Now, now, who can still, can people still be involved in this parade? Is are, it closed down now? It's not closed down quite yet. We are still looking for a couple of convertibles. If anybody wants to put a convertible in the parade, they can contact my office. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> contact Mine's my office. Mine's down here at the contact beach. Contact the office at 843-398-4030. Right. Right, call the recreation department over Absolutely. there in Darlington. Southern 500 Parade. Been around for a long time, and I tell you what, it can, Lee, y'all do a great job with it, though. Y'all really do. It, it's it's an undertaking, but the racetrack is a big help. Kerry Tharp, who's the track president, he, he it's one of his babies, and he looks out for it, so he does as well. Anybody well, can come see this, right? Anybody yeah. is free to the public. Just line up. We're planning on starting at 6.15 on Saturday. All right, and, yeah, the track president, he's, he's, he's so involved in everything in the Darlington area. Lee, we appreciate it. Um, God, the Southern 500 Parade, it's been around. You know, the race started in 1950. I'm not sure when the parade started, 54? Around 54, and yeah. it's something a little bit different than it was then. It's not in the morning, it's in the afternoon, right. so it's after the race. And it, it actually, last year, we actually got dark on us. <laughs> wow, It just depends really? on when the race ends. That's so. right. All right, Lee, thanks so much for being here. Well, Southern 500 Parade, me. Saturday Absolutely. over in Darlington. Check it out. All right, we got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Coming up, Bog and Stump Meet the Candidates 2018 happening on the 29th of August. We're going to find out a little bit about that.
down in Georgetown. That's right. You got they'll have three minutes to talk. You get a lot of food. You get to listen to a lot of what the candidates have to say, and then you can make up your mind who you want to vote for. All right, that's okay. what us now. Let's talk a little bit about the bog and stump. Absolutely. We're excited. We have a great lineup of candidates coming, ranging from state down to local candidates. So we're really excited to have both of the running mates for uh, Lieutenant Governor are going to be with us, both Paula Yvette with uh, Governor Henry McMaster and Mandy Powers Morrell with James Smith. So both of them will be there and other state candidates as well. Uh, Alan Wilson, who is our Attorney General, will be there to speak to the group as well as Mark Hammond, who is our Secretary yeah. of State, and the uh, gentleman who is running against him, Melvin Wittenberg. So lots of great candidates at the state level. We have lots of local candidates as well. Awesome. That's All right, good. fantastic. Uh, well, you got a website. I'm sorry. You got a website you can go to here. Well, yes. you can go to visitgeorge.com and, yeah, and find it. out anything, right. you know, time, location, all that kind of stuff. Now, it's called a bog and stump because you guys are selling chicken bog to raise we money. We are, and I tell you what, if you've never had chicken bog prepared by the Georgetown County Sheriff's Department, it's worth it just to come out for that. We're selling plates for $10 a piece, and it's most delicious chicken bog or chicken perlo, whatever you want to call it, I've ever had before in my life. But awesome. they, they put sausage in it and everything. Like I think so. To, like I think do. so. Yeah, it's, I've had some of this. They, they put the good stuff. Okay, this is yeah. going to start at 5 30. 5 30, that's okay. right. And do people need to register for the chicken bog? They didn't, do they need to do anything? We would like for them to register okay. online at visitgeorge.com, but if you don't get the chance to register, it's fine. Just come on out. We'll get be, there early because they run out. Absolutely, that's it. Now, yeah. where exactly is this Where's, taking place? It will be at the Howard School that's located on the west end of Georgetown at 1610 Hawkins Street. Okay. Hawkins Street. Hawkins Street. I don't yeah. know where that is, but you know. I actually, I do know where it is. I yeah, where is. I used to work in that's Georgetown, pretty, so I do know. Good. Yeah, right. absolutely. Hmm. Anthony, anything else going on anytime? Any, you know, anything well, else Well, I do want to say that Trey Paul is going to be with us. Oh, good. So we're Trey, excited. who's that yeah. guy? Oh, yeah, I know him. That's, that's our anchor guy. So yeah. we're excited about him coming out. And WPDE has been so generous and gracious to be one of our media sponsors. Fantastic. And we do want to give a plug to our presenting sponsors as well, Coastal Carolina's Association of Realtors. We really appreciate their support and their help in putting this event together. They come together. by and see it. Yeah. Well, they come by and see us all the time. They sit in the audience yeah. uh, and, yeah. and hang out. They're fantastic. Well, all right. If you didn't 29th. have sponsors, you couldn't make it work. No, we can't. Right. Thank you, Beth. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right. Make sure you go out the 29th, 530 sharp. Don't miss it. Hey, and some good food, too, right? Yes, yes. All right. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, the schools in Horry County started back last week, and there are a few safety policies they put into effect to make right. it safer in our schools and school events. Yeah, and we're talking about now, as you see right here on the table, Lisa's going to talk to us about it's a clear string backpack. Now, what is the purpose behind this? Right. Um, Horry County Schools, of course, is in charge of protecting all of our students and staff, but we also need to protect our visitors as well. So Horry County Schools implemented a clear bag policy beginning in August for all of our basketball and football games. And so that does include middle school and high school because we do have B-team basketball games at the middle school level. So this is an example 
of air clear bag policy. Not only um, are these some of the dimensions that we have, but you can also bring like a, a gallon clear Ziploc bag. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we do have couple of exemptions like medical equipment and diaper bags, but don't bring a diaper bag and not bring a baby. <laughs> that might uh, have that some would concerns. Throw off a that would throw bit. us off a little <laughs> bit. But we do have some of those exemptions, but those are our most attendant um, events, and so sure. we are going to see how it goes this uh, school year and see if we need to expand that. Program. Well, how did, it, how did it work out? Start a school and everything. Everything it's good great. so far. It's great, and as you can see, these um, a lot of the booster clubs are behind it and yeah. oh, already yeah. logoing up all the the school teams and everything, and so we haven't had a, a problem at all. Fantastic. Right. Well, it's kind of neat. It's in, in a way, it's kind of a little bit of school swag for people to <laughs> get right. too, which That's I think right. is kind of cool. And you know, if you go to a college football game or a pro game, you're already been doing this, so it's it's not nothing new. I mean, it's not anything new, but it's something definitely new with the Horry County School. All right, there's something else about when a game can start. In other words, starting a game if it's too hot. Talk, let's talk about that. Um, there are some parameters that have been put in place statewide for South Carolina regarding the heat especially and trying to protect those players. So some of those sports are being dictated depending upon the weather for that, and it's been going pretty well as, as well. Yeah, Good. if it starts okay. off and it's too hot, you move it up 30 minutes That's or whatever. Right. That's what you have to That's do. That's right. And I'd like to bring up one yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Top 65 Club. So I don't right. know what if anybody, that? this now, is a program is that? that we have had in place for a couple of years now. So if you are a full-time resident of Horry County and over the age of 65. Okay, I am, yeah. Right. And it's even got and your name, got name, name on the back of it already. <laughs> you can get into most of our athletic events for free in some of our fine arts programs. So oh. we are well, revamping the that? program. And so um, all this information is on our website as well as the clear bag. And so you just need to provide documentation for residency and your age and you get a card. That's pretty well, awesome. Be, and it's I a Cecil. Call, look at there. There you go. <laughs> See some of the things you get when you're over 65. It's just amazing. So everybody, be <laughs> on the lookout. If you want pictures with Cecil, he'll be at all the sporting events. That's right. right. I'm right. Just kidding. Well, <laughs> no hey, excuses thank, now. Hey, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. All right. Now, the thing, you've been doing this how long, Lisa? How long have you been doing the public Well, for Horry County Schools, I've been with them. It'll be a year in September. And then I was with Horry County government previous for right. about 17 years. So you've been involved in the government, well, a type of government for this whole time. Yeah. Guess yeah. what that means? Yeah. She knows her stuff. She does know her stuff. <laughs> She's on TV more than we are, I promise you. That's yeah. right. Lisa, we appreciate you Thank coming you. and bringing Thank that with us. These are neat, though. That's a good opportunity for schools to put their logos That's on right. all the bags and, and gets a lot of so publicity much, for them. You know, contact the Booster Club, right? That's yeah. right. And they're selling them at most of the games as well. So you really don't even, you can just show up to the games and purchase your bag. This was $10, so yeah. not a bad price. Very good. Cool. All right, Lisa, thank awesome. you so much for being Thank with you. us. We appreciate it. All right, we got more coming up. I got my card. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay with us.
And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. All right, it is tomorrow is National Cherry Turnover Day. And uh, we got Benjamin's with us right here out of Surfside, a great place to pick up mm -hmm. all your sweets and uh, sandwiches, everything. Yeah, ever, absolutely. We're, so if you want a cherry turnover, this is where you need to go, plus lunch and all kinds of great stuff. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Benjamin's. Yeah. Lee. 25 years next year. 25 years. Hard to imagine, but um, it has changed over the years. Uh, we're real proud that we still maintain a cafe where everything is homemade. It's awesome. Right down to the hummus oh. and the pimento cheese. Um, oh, that is great. Now, now, now this national tomorrow's National Cherry Turnover Day. All right, tell us about your cherry turnovers uh, here. We're real proud of them. We make them on puff pastry. And uh, this particular tray has not only our normal size, but since we have a miniature program, we brought miniature cherry turnovers as well. All yeah, right. and a big one too. Now, y'all yeah. do more than desserts. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's yeah, go to Laurie, the next table. Lori, tell us a little bit about what's here. What you got? All right, so we have um, our cherry danishes, um, cherry cheesecake, which is a new muffin. Ooh. Yeah, Yum. super good. Right here, this one's a cherry cheesecake muffin? Yes. Wow. And then this is the cherry chocolate chip. Oh. Um, so we did, we went cherry. Cherry-licious today. Cherry-licious <laughs> for us today. And there's a lot, I brought a lot more stuff over there for the staff and everything, too. Now, Lee, y'all don't only do sweets. Y'all do sandwiches, breakfast, and lunch. Yeah, we're real proud that the program has actually expanded. We started as a bagel shop, and we're yeah. still real happy that uh, actually we took an order this morning for Coastal Carolina's athletic department Great. to do their bagels. And uh, recently, the uh, Food Lions expansion in Myrtle Beach has wow. put us in from Polly's Island oh, to great. Conway to North Myrtle Beach. Wow. All right, now Fantastic. what time y'all open in the morning? 7 a.m. Okay. Now, I know, breakfast? yeah, and I was going to say, and I know you don't get there at 7 a.m. No. You're there much earlier. <laughs> I use the excuse that I watch the second shift because that's when all the sweets are produced is on the second <laughs> shift. Which means everything's yeah. fresh. Thank y'all both for being Thank here. You. Thank, Thank you. you for being Thank with you. us. Cherry turnover day tomorrow, national cherry turnover. Go get one. I'm going to have one today, plus an apple turnover they brought me, my favorite. I, we might have one tomorrow as well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stick around. We'll be right back. What do you look for when you want something entertaining, informative, and lots of fun? Carolina and Company Live with Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. This show keeps you informed of everything happening along the Grand Strand. PD and Porterville. Tired of watching the same old, same old every day? Why not tune in to Carolina and Company Live? A show that's just plain fun. Hollywood! <laughs> Days at noon on WPDE ABC 15. And welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for watching us every day. I ask you every day to tell one person about this show. That's right. And uh, then we'll get them to watch them, especially new people moving to the area. Yeah, if you want to know where you can, you know, find out all the things happening, we do lots of fundraisers, community events, anything happening. Um, you know, this is where you're going to find it out. And if you have a fundraiser, if you have a nonprofit, if you have an event going on, call us here at the station. We'd love for you to come hang out with us. I promise it'll be a good time. Right, guys? Yeah, they had a they great said, time. They said okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. And don't forget, be back tomorrow at noon because we've got a better show tomorrow. It keeps getting better every day. That's right. We'll see you, see you later. later. Have a good one. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. And coming up in just a few minutes, 
Carolina and Company Live. All right, today we've got the Grand Strand Humane Society with Pet of the Day. That's right. There's always something fun happening at the Myrtle Beach State Park. We're going to find out what that is. And also today, St. Christopher Children are having a 5K run fundraiser. We'll tell you all about that. And that's right. I'm talking about the fifth annual Grillers Cup Barbecue Cook-Off. Yeah, oh right there. I'm telling you, right there at Surfside. It's a great event. We'll tell you more about it today. Hey, everybody.